Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. It's the last weekend before we all go back to the drudge of work. So the bike's all been stripped down since the successful run-up in the weekend before Christmas uh, because we have a few issues to address. So one of them is to finish wiring the bike. That isn't going to be a problem, or I don't think it is anyway. But one of the main problems we've had is the drive chain. So the starter motor here acts with the Dynastart to turn the outside... Uh, gear which is attached to a sprocket that drives a sprocket on here and that's what cranks the motor and all that's been shown in other videos now we've had a few issues where the chain that starts the bike has snapped it snapped a number of times now we did retard the ignition last time we fired it up and that seems to help but i, I just think that the 3-8 pitch chain isn't up to the job of starting the bike and to sort of prove that, behind me on the bench here, this is a chain that's done about six starts. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's absolutely totaled that chain. And it's it's only started the bike six times. Um, you shouldn't be able to do that with, with a chain. It was new when it went on. Uh, it's done six starts and it's already, I, I can do that with it and move it backwards and forwards. So it's definitely not up to the job. So um, we need to uh, fix that. And the easiest way to do that is either to put a duplex chain, but that's quite wide, or go up a pitch. This is 3 8 pitch. So we go up to a half inch pitch chain. Now that's not that much wider and there is enough clearance against the um, pulley, the front drive pulley here or the primary drive pulley as some people call it so so the, the the belt of the pulley runs across here and the chain runs up here so that the two are in close proximity here and there isn't a physical baffle between them other than perhaps the, the this um, flange on the end of the pulley and um, the belt does tend to run against this side of it so that, that's not really a problem um, but we just got to be careful of our clearances the other thing we've got to be careful of back on the bench is the overall diameters of the sprocket because that's 24 teeth and that's 57 teeth and that gives us 2.375 to 1 reduction on the chain plus the reduction that we've got on the on this big ring here uh, but it's only the chain that we, we're changing so I don't particularly want to change that ratio too much if possible now if I get a 24 tooth half inch pitch front sprocket it's going to be about that size it's quite a bit bigger and that means the corresponding size of half inch pitch uh, sprocket for the driven sprocket on the end of the crank goes up accordingly as well and what I'm trying to avoid is too large a sprocket here because it, it's potentially going to interfere with the the breather so if I can reduce that sprocket size at all that would be better so I've been doing a bit of maths and a few sums and that kind of thing and I think that if we go for a 16 tooth sprocket here and a 38 tooth sprocket here that gives us the same ratio not too dissimilar sizes on the two sprockets either uh, just a bit thicker in, uh, in terms of the, the width for the chain so tomorrow I'm going to drag some old chain out have a play I've got some half inch pitch chain I've got some duplex chain that we used on the timing side to drive the sleeve itself uh, I think the duplex chain is new the half inch pitch chain will have to buy new and we need to buy a sprocket with a boss on the back of it so that we can remake the the boss with the keyway to fit the diner start and fit into there none of those are particularly difficult jobs and it's just one of those things i just want to do it once and then not have to worry about it so that's probably the next job uh, or perhaps a little bit of electrics it depends what mood and when i want to feeling like so that's exactly where we're at at the moment so that's your friday night update as usual thank you for watching more updates will follow